okay now let's click on this form1.cs design now I want to create a listener for this button. So what is a listener? A listener is an object that is going to be actually notified when the user actually clicks on this button, right? So in order to cr uh, create a listener for this button, you just need to select this button and just double click on this button here. And now, as you can see, it actually created this method inside this phone1.cs class here. And uh, this method here is going to be executed whenever that the user actually clicks on that button. So look at this. So, so look, look at the name of this method: btn show result underline click. This method actually has uh, two uh, parameters. The first one is the sender, which is of type object, and the second one is actually event args here. For now, let me actually explain to you what is this sender. This sender is the component or the object that is going to trigger the action right so uh, which component is going to tr trigger the action this button let's go to form1.cs whenever the user actually clicks on this button this button is going to trigger the action so this button is called the sender so let's go back to form1.cs class so that's why we have this uh, parameter here this argument actually so now let's go inside the method here and now i'm gonna create an object of type animal here so in order to create an object here, I just need to type in here animal. This is, this is the, type, the type of this object. Uh, and then I need to specify the name of this animal, right? So the name is going to be lion. I want to create an instance of type animal. So new animal. And now I just need to put a pair of parentheses. So now we can see that we are going to call the constructor of this animal class. So the constructor, the custom constructor that we created inside this animal class is this one. A constructor that needs some parameters, some arguments actually. Name value, age value, power value, and speed value. So for the first argument, we need to pass a value of type string, which is going to be the name value. So just put two quotes here. And for the name, I just need to type in here lion. This is the, this is the name of the animal, right? Comma, comma. And the second argument here is going to be age value of type integer. So I can say 25, comma, this is the age. And the third argument is going to be power value. For example, I can say uh, 2000, this is the power, comma. And for the fourth uh, argument, which is going to be the final argument, it, this is actually of the decimal. So I can actually pass, for example, number 3000.56. This uh, power value is also of type decimal. So I passed an integer value. It's going to actually convert it to a decimal value here. Don't worry about this one. But here, we passed a decimal value, right? 3000. 0.56 and it's showing us an error and if I hover over this error it says represents a double precision floating point number argument for cannot convert from double to decimal so if you actually don't put any uh, for example identifier here in order to specify whether your value is a decimal or not it's gonna assume that your value is actually of type double but look at the uh, data type of these arguments this is actually of type decimal right and we passed a decimal value here, but in order to let the compiler know that we are 100% sure that this, this is going to be of type decimal, we need to put the letter M here at the end of our value in order to specify that this is actually of type decimal and we are not allowed to actually convert this value to other floating point numbers, for example, float double. But this here, for this one, we passed an integer value. It's going to actually convert it for us to a decimal value. Don't worry about this one. But for this one, we need to actually uh, explicitly specify that this is a decimal value by putting M at the end of the value. And then here, at the end of your statement, just put a semicolon. So our lion object is created with the name lion, age 25, power 2000, and the speed is 3000.56. So now... Uh, as you can see, uh, we are, these are the values that we actually passed here. So let's actually refer to the name of our LBL result. So let's go back to form1.cs design. Here, yeah, this is our, here we have this LBL design. So let's go back to form1.cs. So LBL result uh, dot uh, text assignment operator. And here I can actually uh, put uh, dollar sign because I want to use string interpolation expression here. Two quotes. And inside the quotes, I can say animal name colon. So I just need to put a pair of 
curly braces here because I want to refer to uh, to the value to the instance variable of this lion object. So lion dot name, right? I am referring to the property name of this lion object, and then I put actually uh, this uh, special character here backward slash n. So this is going to be new line special character, and here I can say animal h colon and i put a pair of curly braces and here i just refer to the lion dot h i am referring to this property right comma no i, I don't uh, want to put comma i just need to put this special character backward slash n and then again animal animal power colon and then again i put a pair of curly braces and then inside the curly braces, let me actually show you these values here. So inside the curly braces, I just need to refer to the name of this object, lion dot power, and then again, backward slash n, a new line character, animal, speed, colon, and then I put a pair of curly braces, and inside the curly braces, lion dot speed. And finally, at the end of my statement, I just need to put a semicolon. So now, uh, let's actually run our application. Let's wait a little bit here. So now, as you can see, our application is running here. And uh, for these text, box, text boxes, I didn't actually uh, put any logic inside our code. So don't worry about these um, text boxes here. For now, just click on this button. Show me the result. So if I click on this button, uh, as you can see inside this phone one class, this method here, btn show result underline click is going to be created. It's going to be executed actually. First, it's gonna create a lion object, and then it's gonna actually set these values to the LBL result.txt. So let's click on this button, show me the result. And now we can see that it says animal name, lion, animal age, 25, animal power, 2000, and animal speed, 3000.56. That's it. So now I want to get these values, animal name, age, power, speed from these text boxes, text boxes actually. So let's go back to Visual Studio. Let's stop the program and then let's, let's see how we can do that.